G03 was last observed on May 9th, 1990, after the watering of the Cold War was initi initiated by Soviet Premier Michael Gorbachev, which led to the Brussels Conference of World Powers. In November 1990, after the final transmission was sent from the West German DPA news agency reported on the station, there was always proceedings by a gong being struck several times, then on a shortwave frequency of 3220 kHz, really 3258 kHz, one heard a synthic voice of in a metallic tone, e.g. 17538, combined of numbers in a group of five conveying coded news in from East Berlin agents in FGR. Neighbouring four gain countries from again from the routine broadcast expected on Thursday evening by FGR counters intelligence service but it never came the voice of the ispognit has fallen silent i'm now going to play you a sample of what g03 sounds like <laughs> message from G03 the final gongs and chimes number station broadcast was certainly not routine well the last message started with the gongs and chimes intro and then a Duncan NVA soldier singing as well known children's song Ali Marine Etchen All My Ducklings before one of them says Undin Die Sengung Fur Das weak hit kind and now the end of transmission bright child g03 transmitted daily every evening from 1800 utc to 2300 utc at half hour intervals on 3258 kilohertz it also transmitted on sunday saturday mornings at 1000 utc on 54 one zero kilohertz. Unlike the Swedish Rhapsody, um, the Gongs and Chimes number station was active from 1990 to 1991. It was using a female voice that was generated by the Stasi Spr uh, Spratch Machine or the Speech Morse Generator, uh, manipulated in a way to make it sound higher than the default tone. Um, the believed country of origin was East Germany. Now, the family re relatives was G08 or M49, but we don't know whether it also has a family to do with M41, where that is. Uh, the station family is uh, Family 17, the DDR. Now, do we think we'll ever hear gongs and chimes again? Well, a couple of times we saw the sights of gongs and chimes and... One of the sites still had all the stuff inside. So whether the gongs and chimes are actually going to come back, we'll never know. And we'll never know more about this station. Um, this station was also um, having a lot of technical problems, including with jamming. Now, G03 is probably one of the number stations that jamming actually originated from. Uh, just like the Lincolnshire Poacher, it fell silent and we never heard it again. Many of the sites were discovered, but there's only a couple sites that were never discovered. And we think on them sites is where the actual um, main kit lives. And we think something over there is still hoping to have everything inside. Um, so what I was showing up just now 
is a picture of the station structure uh, with the preamble and everything on that preamble so this the this station sheet now as you can see it's got the gongs and chimes playing and each message um, there are different formats of this just like the Lincolnshire poacher you never know we might see another one of them again we might be able to see a station again very soon Oh, <laughs> 